welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and Reviewing the SPY. We fell today. We actually failed on a gap up today. Fell off a cliff. There's lots and lots and lots of reasons. Number one, I thought we were lower all week. The rally made no sense. It was only because of NVIDIA. NVIDIA was up today. Then it collapsed. Earnings failed. Uh, then we also have all of the scare and concern about a second wave of COVID that everyone's talking about. I mean, and then we have the Fed tomorrow. We have the Jackson Hole meeting. We have a 10 o'clock uh, number tomorrow on Friday. There's just so many things that are going on in the market right now. I don't see how anyone would go long here, but you can't deny that we rallied this week and people went long. They went long Friday, Monday, even this was a gap up here on the 22nd, went long yesterday, again, made absolutely no sense whatsoever at all. And then people were long overnight or we wouldn't have gapped up. And again, most of that was NVIDIA. So my take on this here um, is tomorrow is going to depend as far as where we open tomorrow morning and then where we go tomorrow is going to depend 100 percent on the number and then the Jackson Hole meeting. So we may wait until after 10 o'clock to do anything significant tomorrow. Again, we could have a big move up or we could have a big move down. So. You know, it's one of these things where you have to watch your trades if you're in things. And again, I've had a bearish bias for this entire month. I have been 100% correct. If you go, we've had a huge month. I mean, you just can't deny how big of a month we've had. It's just almost been like I almost don't even want to talk about it because <laughs> I want it to continue. But I am going to talk about it so people know so they can join and start making money with us. Um, August 1st was here. We started out the month in a gap down, fell off a cliff then the next day on the 2nd, and then literally fell off a cliff. So even though today is only August 24th, we only have a week left in this month, and we'll never get back up here. So no matter what, August was a bearish month. How bearish, we don't know because we got one more week left, but it's only a couple days, and we started out the month at 456.27. And again, I'm just I'm just showing you here, again, if you go back, take away August. Let me just take this away and just show you here, August here. Take it all away. Oops. Like, up until, you know, August 1st, you're like, oh my God, we're going to make new highs any second. We're not. Okay. So, I didn't think we'd make new highs at all this year. Um, I said that all year. And then in June, we were so bullish. I said, well, wow, that's interesting. And I really don't think we make new highs this year. I think I will be right all along. It's important to have conviction. And one of the things that sets me apart from everyone else that's out there is, number one, I myself, okay, invented and created my Golden Gap system, my strategy that I now teach. I didn't create it for anyone other than me. I developed my system for myself to make money. And then years later, I ended up teaching it to people, which you can come and still learn. It's a class I teach once a month. The reason that I created the system I did is because I wanted to narrow down what I was doing to try to find the best pick. Trading is about odds, high odds versus low odds. You can't make money in every trade, but you have to make money in more trades than you win, which means you have to put the odds in your favor. Trading cannot be something that you think of as gambling. If you're a 50-50 crapshoot in trades that you take, you are for sure going to lose. So when I look at something, I follow my rating system. Even if I'm in a trade and it's down. Even if I'm in a trade and it's down, I stay with it, follow it through, and many, 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 many times I will end up winning in trades that I was down because they'll go in my favor. Why? Because the gap rated good in the first place all along, which I knew. So again, having conviction and understanding what's going on in a chart is extremely important. And if you don't, you're going to have a hard time making money in the market. So, you know, we have had quite a good month day trading and a spectacular month doing options. And either one, whether you want to do one or both, you know, it's something that you can decide based on the size of your account and the type of trading you want to do. But everything I do is based on my Golden Gap system. And again, that's what allows me to hold trades and have the conviction because I understand what's going on in the price action in the gap. So we did not go long to video today. It failed. I'll do a video on that shortly. Tomorrow is going to be a wait and see in the morning and then wait and see about the number and the Fed, which isn't going to be till 10 or later. So tomorrow could be a very volatile day. Again, could be up, could be down. I won't know till I see the gap. And again, that's not till tomorrow morning because that's what I do. I read the pre-market and I read the gap. Good luck, everyone. If you're interested in the next Golden Gap course, you can sign up now 
and start trading with us. It's September 30th and October 1st. Email me at melissa.thestockswish.com if you'd like more information.